Hi, guys. Hey, welcome to Behind the Scenes Live. I'm Angela Wolf, and today I have such a fun show planned for you. Oh, sorry about the beeps and buzzers. Everybody's announcing that uh, it's time for the live show. There's my tree. Can you see it back there behind me? It's a little pathetic. Let's see. Real pathetic, but we'll just let it go, right? All right, guys, so pop in, say hi, because I have a really special guest for you today. As you know, Joe is coming in, and so just give me the hearts. Let me know that you can hear me okay. Everyone's saying, can't wait, can't wait. I'll wait one sec for you guys rolling. Hi, Clovis. Clovis, I'm going to be showing your top at the end of today's show. First, we're going to have Joe. He's got a great show planned for you, and at the end of the show, I'm going to go through a couple outfits that you guys added into the group. Susan. Your dress is gorgeous. If you hope you don't mind, I'm going to be sharing that. Clovis, I absolutely loved your outfit this week. Amy, you guys really did a good job on that pattern hack on the Delilah. So I've got more to share with you. But today, it's all about Joe and dress forms. Hey, guys, everybody's rolling in for the Merry Christmas episode. So I see the heart emojis. You can hear me. Sharon, welcome from the UK. We've got the Netherlands. We've got Korea, Pennsylvania. You guys are great. Hey, Wes, I have, did I tell you that your dress fits perfect? I didn't wear it on the show today because I needed to wear red, but I have it on my dress form now just because it's beautiful. So thank you again. Trudy, everyone. Okay, guys, well, let's not make Joe wait. Let's bring him on here. Hey, Joe. Welcome to the show, Joe. Hey, Angela, how are you? Good. Yeah. I. So yeah. great to have you. Hey, thank you for having me on this show and, and Merry Christmas to you and everybody all over the world and welcome to our house for the holidays here in sunny southern california this is our christmas here we don't have the snow we have the sunshine you have a lot of sunshine but i love that necklace <laughs> oh, isn't that fabulous i thought i would throw this on it's just kind of a a, a teaser you know a uh, holiday spirit what can i say to you <laughs> so when i saw your hat yesterday I had to say, I said to my husband, I, we don't have a tree. So there's my pathetic tree back there. It's it's a little one. I think I should take his fishing lures and put it on there. And then he said, what about your Christmas top? So I specifically washed my Christmas top so I'd have something red and fabulous to wear with you today. Well, I'm, I kind of cheat because I got people that do sets and props. So we did a wonderful set and prop a little bit. So I, actually, all the stuff behind me, I did not do. <laughs> Okay, so that is kind of cheating. <laughs> it is kind of cheating. So everything you see, and if you see that we have a, we do have a kind of a great tree behind me, and uh, some all kinds of decorations and what have you that they put together. And, oh my gosh! Uh, hats off to my crew and staff. And it's just been fabulous. But um, we have a great show planned for you today, and um, uh, I'm excited for today. What do you got going on for us today? I see your dress forms. Is that silver? Uh, what is that silver? Did you drape that? Yeah. So what? Looking back here in this garment that we see, that is a stretch sequence that's simply been draped. It's got a cow neck effect with a full skirt on the bottom and off the shoulder sleeves. And it's been completely draped on the mannequin and not even sewn, just simply draped. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, I love that. Yeah, we actually, we actually put that together uh, this last week and we just took like about 15 minutes and threw that up together to get it ready for the show. Isn't that fabulous? Um, awesome. Yes, uh, we have um, uh, a great thing planned today. We want to talk a little bit about forms. I got lots of surprises for everybody out there. You guys are going to be thrilled. Um, I think that what we have to share with you uh, is going to be absolutely fabulous. Uh, I have been really busy working with the with studios, as you guys all, all know. Uh, I'll be working there all day tomorrow. Uh, the show has actually, we had to put everybody on tour. Uh, which the truck leaves today with uh, all the garments uh, for the five top dancers and their uh, their uh, celebrity dancers. So there's 10 of them. And wow. all the garments had to be put together for all the different shows that they're going through all over the country. And the, the truck leaves this afternoon. And all that had the deadline was today and it had to be completed. Um, and then tomorrow, uh, actually this afternoon, we start breaking down the show because the show's done at a CVS lot. And all that has to be broken down, and they nominated they nominated me to take care of that. Great, right? Oh my gosh! So I don't think people even realize what goes on behind the scenes for these shows. I mean, we watch the one-hour fabulous show, but everything that goes behind it is incredible. So are these outfits then? Did you say they're going on tour? 
Yeah, they're going on tour, and they made a whole set of new garments for the entire tour. So everything that they use on tour is a brand new set of garments that had to be manufactured and set, put together in the last uh, 10 days since the, sh the last show that we did. Wow. With, uh, Bobby Bones, who won the, uh, the, uh, the award. So um, that all had to happen in the last 10 days, and, and, and it's, it's, it was a lot of work. And, and, and that all work has to come to an end, with all good things come to an end. And uh, I have to go back and remember, there's probably on the show 400 people that work on the show. And all that stuff that, that they use on the show, in our design room, our sewing room, and the garments, and the, uh, the racks, and the mannequins, the machines, and uh, uh, trims, and fabric, I've been nominated to make sure that everything goes in the right direction. And some of it comes to our warehouse, some of it goes to the studio warehouse. It's all broken down until the next season. And we're still in the midst of negotiating what's going to happen for next year on the show. Meaning if we're going to do juniors, if we're going to do athletes, uh, because we're the show parallels with American Idol. And American Idol has two days, and then it goes to one day, and then and ABC needs a filler. So they'll bring in one of the other shows of ours to fill in that one day. So it's still in the works. We don't quite really know. Right now, our focus is to get the show on the tour and get the show broken down so we can enjoy the holidays and take some right. time. So, so that's where we're at. You can sign out for all the way through Christmas, right, Joe? Right. We, I am actually going to sign out, um, hopefully, uh, from the studios uh, this week, Friday. And I'm, I'll turn the key in. I'm done. And I won't see them till next year, which I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, which sounds like a long time, but that's really only two weeks. I hate to tell you. <laughs> I know maybe it's three. two weeks, but you know what? Maybe three because um, I need that time. It's just it's been really it's been a long year. So, um, so for those of you that haven't been following Joe this year, he's been on the show a few times, and we've talked about dress forms. But he has been at so many of the shows, shows that I've been at, and then also many, many more. Because you have stormed this country this year talking about the importance and showing people how to use their dress forms, which is really interesting because a lot of people say, well, I have one. I just don't know how to use it. It doesn't fit me right. You have really shown the entire sewing population what these are really for, how to use them, and then relate it back to what you're doing with Dancing with the Stars, which is showing this is how you're fitting all these people on this show. It's Absolutely. real life. It's not like, uh, hey, you have a dress form and it's just going to sit there. Right. And that and that, that, that takes me to, to a different topic right now. You know, uh, and mannequins, and I've been, uh, you know, not just with Dancing with the Stars, but all over America, all over the world that we fit with, all the department stores in all their different design rooms, manufacturers. I don't care who it is. I, I've touched all those different areas. And I can only tell everybody watching the show the importance of uh, the mannequin, uh, uh, how it affects the fit. And we don't care if you can see this on the backstage there. I'll pull it forward a little bit. The body form. The body form itself is an intricate part of sewing because if you can get the body form to fit your body and you're sewing at home, you've got it beat. I don't care who's out there teaching what. If you don't have a body form, that actually is your fit or a body form to work with, no matter what you do, you're always going to be tweaking that pattern and it's always going to be a problem. But if you have, let's just say you got your body form, that's your body size. And you're able to take a pattern or take and not take a pattern and pin it or drape it to the body as this was been draped to the body, you took just a pair of muslin and draped a pair of palazzo pants on here to fit. So if you drape it to the body and you can take this muslin after it's been draped and pinned and put it on a paper, a marking paper, and trace it off with one of those tracing wheels, you've got your pattern. Why? Because this fits. So you're going to follow these lines with a tracing wheel, front and back, front and back, no matter which way you look at it, it fits. And regardless how it fits, it's going to fit on your body. And it goes with the same with a pattern. You can actually take that pattern that you have and pin it to your body. Okay, yes, Dancing with the Stars. The same thing. All my celebrities have to have a body form. If they don't have a body form, we cannot work with them. Why? Because they're not with me 24 hours a day or with the designer 24 hours a day. What are they doing? They're out there dancing. They only come in about three minutes a week. 
for a fitting. So we got to make sure that we have their body shape and body size on the body form. But guess what? My dancers lose weight. So we have to be conscious of their weight loss. Like you, you say, well, what happens if I lose weight? Same thing. So what we do is we may take their body form down one side and then we'll pad it up to their size that they are now. And when they lose weight every week, we take it down and we get it to their exact body size and we sit from it. Now, I know that seems kind of crazy. How do we body shape? We body shape, may I have a piece of that in there? We body shape with this special material. It's a polyester cotton batting, okay? It's pretty firm and we pad it up to their body size. And now if I were to throw this on the body form like this and added all this fluff to a body form and let a celebrity see it, they are absolutely not going to appreciate that one bit. So what, <laughs> we do is, what we do is we hide it, and we hide it with a stretch spandex cover. And we take this cover here, and basically what we do, after we've padded the form all up, we take this wonderful piece of material, and it's a four-way stretch with a nice, big, heavy-duty zipper, and we cover it. And we cover the mannequin, and the... Uh, the, the padding that's done below it, it absolutely is shaved and peeled like it's shaped to your body size. So we allow enough room for you to lose that possible 20 pounds, 40 pounds, or just maybe not lose weight, just any little indifference that we need to make. We'll pad it up with that padding. And it works out fabulous. Listen, I always say this. I have touched and measured more women in the world than anybody else. And I get <laughs> have one felt. Okay? And I don't care what problem they have. Sloping shoulder, forward shoulder, rolled back, uh, any uh, scoliosis. It doesn't make a difference. Lower hip, higher hip. I'm the guy that fix it. And I think I'm probably the only guy in America that can do that. Because my exposure is, I've been in the dress form manufacturing business probably from not giving away my age, I don't want to do that, but over 40 years, so very young, and I've got the other background that I can do patterns and fit and drape and, and do all the different fundamentals of uh, basic design and garment manufacturing. Because I took it, and I took it with one of the best instructors in the country for two years, and I learned it. So I learned that part of the business, and I learned the business in the dress form part. So I understand both parts of it, so I understand your plight, what's going on in fit, and I understand the other side, what it takes to get the, the mannequin to fit you. So you got both of those two ingredients in one spot, and there's nowhere, there is nowhere, I promise you, in America that offers that, other than what you're, what you're looking at right here today. And I'm real proud to say that. It's been a lot of work, it's been a long road. And it's really paid off with Dance with the Stars. And that's why the show keeps me and won't let me go. You know, Joel, one thing that you mentioned about covering up all that padding, that's one thing I think has been new to this and many people in this audience, especially this year when we've been talking about it, because I've had dress forms before you throw a bra on it or, you know, even when I've had fit for customers for the custom clientele, now I'm fitting to fit patterns. Uh, the customers did not want to come in and see their bra on a <laughs> dress form. That cover completely camouflages it. And even in the last few shows, I've watched all the ladies going down the hall with their dress forms that they purchased from you. You help them fit to their body shape and they have that nice cover over it. It's all taped off, you know exactly what part, and it looks fabulous. So that cover is brilliant. So I don't know where that came from or how it came about, but it's brilliant. It was, it was this, this all came about when I was working with the, with the stars. And I knew that when we had to actually cover a star up with their body because they're not perfect bodies either unfortunately they're not they're just like everybody else out there and i could not put myself into a position where i had all this fluff on the body form and have them look at it so i decided to design and style my own cover to fit their body and that's when we came up with this body creation and these body sizes where i have a team that makes these to the body size and we make them right to every celebrity's body size. I don't care who it is, what it is, what shape, what length, small, big, tall, short, we make them. And it fits their body. And it fits it perfectly. And it gives the contour of the body. And that's what we're looking at, the contour of the body. The body shape is what we need. And if we get that body shape mimicked to your body, 
and it's perfect, guess what? We do not have a garden of function on Dancing with the Stars. Week after week after week. It's perfect. And the show tells itself that. So, Joe, I have a question on here for you. This is a, just a technical one. It's come up a couple times on here when we've talked about dress forms. Uh, someone asked if they have had a mastectomy on one side or both sides. Should they order a custom dress form or can it be fitted according to that? It can be fitted. Um, we would customize their uh, body to that. Uh, based on their measurements. If I would need me certain measurements from them if they had that, uh, their, their, their breasts removed. And I've had a lot of women have that happen. And I'm working with a few right now as we speak. And uh, you, they're more flat chested and we have to compensate that. So we'll go to a smaller size and we'll build out those two upper areas to be flatter for them. And it flattens us out. But again, it depends on their measurement. We would need bus measurement, upper and lower apex, and to see how that would fit. And we would work around it. But it's done. It's done all the time. And we make that happen. Absolutely. No problem. That that makes so much sense. And thank you for answering that because that's come up so many times and someone kept asking for more specifics. And that is ex that's a perfect answer. I have a, a Jude popped in here. I don't know if you recognize her name. She's on here quite often. She's from the Netherlands. She has said she's looking forward to dressing or uh, to learning how to pad her dress form. So she said she can't wait since she quit smoking. Well, good job on quitting smoking, Jude. But I've seen you. You don't look like you've gained much weight. <laughs> um, so, yeah, padding up a form, um, what we do is we look at different options and we take, we'll take, uh, may I have some padding? Uh, we'll take, start, we'll start with maybe the hip. We'll start with the hip area and we'll start with, uh, depending on their body size and their body shape, we'll shape up their hip. And by padding out this this uh, body shape here, like this, this size eight, I believe is like a 37 and a half hip. And just by simply, just by simply adding on the hip, and women tend to carry their weight here on the hip, will tend to just take this padding a little bit like that and fill it in. That takes a 37 and a half Angela to almost a 38, a whole size bigger. And that's just with a simple little adjustment here on the hip. Or maybe we need to add it to the foot. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take some uh, different batting and we'll add it to the tooth here. You know, we'll simply take it and go from back to back and increase that size. And then we, we actually pin it up nicely so it's actually shaped correctly. And as it's pinned, we still get that 38 and a half. We can go up three sizes so easily, it's not a problem. And that's what we do for the hip. And for the waist, what we do is we transition. A lot of women in the waist, in the waist carry their, uh, their weight right here in the front. This is the biggest problem. And so what we do is we'll take the fatty angela and simply pat it here in the front like so. And sometimes you need to gain a little bit more uh, weight, you know, as far as the thickness. And then we'll probably move that in with a bigger piece of batty and just to give it a nice even flow, give it that little tummy effect. So depending on the person and their body size, the body shape, uh, you, you like to get those measurements. Typically waist, and maybe we'll take the side seam to side seam waist to see how much we need to pad in the front and then how much less to pad in the back. Normally, we pad in the front because that's where women carry the weight. Right in the hip. Typically never in the back. Right. And same for the hip. Same for the hip. Very, very important. And then as far as the, uh, the lower part of the body, pants, nobody, nobody out there in America can do pants. I don't care how many women, they have always struggled for two things, pants and sleeves. I, I care if that is the, their biggest struggle. And I've seen it week in, week out. And even in the studios when we're working and doing pants and shorts and things for some of the uh, celebrities, it's right here. This is where everybody fails, right here, right here in the crotch. If you don't get this area right, you fit every single time. Why? Because people don't realize, Angela, when they're measuring the crotch measurement, it is so, so important. So, so important. I cannot stress this enough. Fit, 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 body, body, body. You must have a perfectly correct crotch measurement from waist, navel, around your bottom to your waist. And then that's one measurement. And then take your back waist your center seam crotch, that's another measurement, and take your front waist 
concentric same crotch, put those two measurements together, then it should give you the same measurement you got from here. And what does that do? It tells you where, where on the body does it need to be increased for fit. And we do that every week. Sometimes we'll increase it here. Sometimes we need to increase it here. It depends on the person's body. That's what people fail in pants. They don't get the crotch right every single time, and they always complain about two things. They complain about too much fagginess down here in the butt, and they complain too much, they gotta put like a paper clip up in here. Why? Because those patterns aren't made for the normal human body. Because they're smaller in the waist, and they're bigger in the hip. So those patterns have to be made bigger in the hip, leaving a bigger gap up here in the waist. And they're always feeling like they have to adjust and feel the weight. But if your body is made that way, it works. It works right. You know, a good friend of mine, Nick Holman, he teaches your body's perfect and your pattern is wrong. And that's true. Your body is perfect and the pattern is wrong. And, and that, that statement tells it all because your body is the most beautiful thing in the world, no matter which way it looks or how big or how small it is, no matter what shape, what size, or anything that's going on with it, your body is perfect, it's beautiful, and we need, we need to learn how to body shape that body perfectly so we can take that pattern that you have at home that you absolutely love and adore and be able to take it to your body and readjust that pattern shape to your body size by either cutting and slashing or cutting and taping to it and then taking that pattern and go and cut your time out and sew it. How easy can that get? I make it sound so easy because I do this every day. And I but, understand that. But you know, no, the pants you gotta think pants. There's only two there's only two seams on each side to really work with and a couple a couple of darts. It's amazing how the crotch seam has become the most complex thing. In fact my brother told me that he's not allowed to watch my show anymore because every time I talk about pants fitting, I talk about the crotch seam. And he says I'm dementing his children. <laughs> but if there's only one, these measurements that are so important and everybody seems to just not quite get it. Not everyone, including myself. There's times I'll sit there and go, oh, this isn't fitting right. You hit it on the head. Every body shape is different. And uh, as we've all said many times, the general pattern doesn't fit every body shape. And it's, it's pretty simple, except it's so complex in everybody's head. And sleeves are definitely the other nemesis for everyone. It seems that cap, I watch people try to ease in five inches in the sleeve cap, and it's like, this is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work, and you know what? Um, and people need to understand the importance of, of a, doing a sleeve. Um, and really, it's called an arm. It's called <laughs> an arm. And this arm gets attached to the body, okay? If you have this arm attached to the body, when you're doing a sleeve, you can actually take the correct measurements and formulate your, take your pattern and adjust it to it, or create your own pattern from it, because you have your arm. It's made your body size. Hello? <laughs> it's as simple as pie. Taking those measurements and taking that pattern and adjusting it to it. Okay, yeah, the length is important, but more important is your upper bicep and your wrist and your elbow and getting those right and getting the length right and getting it right up in here so not adding five inches of extra uh, material to do it. No, that's not necessary. It's wrong. This is right. So, okay, Joe, I got to share this one with you because I know you've heard this in class a lot. And, and quite often, this is one of the things with fitting sleeves when people are fitting their jackets. They will fit, let's see if I can see which way, the sleeve, the armhole for the jackets way down here instead of close to their arm. So I always tell them, you know, you're attaching your sleeve basically to your chest and that it's not going to work. It doesn't matter how much fabric there. Would you give any tips on that for how to fit this area right here? Yes, absolutely. And that is, and I've done so many women in they, when they go to do a sleeve pattern, their biggest problem is is the shape and, and the, 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 the dynamics of how they make that sleeve whole. And there's two things that have to happen. First of all, they need to have the right curve. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is your life and your Bible for a sleeve. This is called a French curve. It's a perfect 
sleeve ruler. There are so many rulers out there, but with this, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong on your pattern. It absolutely fits perfect. It's absolutely made perfect to fit. If you look, if you can even see this, even see this on, it's meant perfect to fit the sleeve. And the other area that's a problem is they don't add for ease. When they, if they do, they add like, they drop it way down here. No, you need fitted ease, only fitted ease, and then you adjust from there. And when you do your pattern, you do your pattern, I, and I do my pattern, I only allow, basically, it's a half inch down and a half inch out for fitted ease. And then from there, and again, that's fitted. It's not wearable, it's fitted. It's like creating a block. And then you can adjust from there. And then you can see how that fitted ease fits on there. And then of course, even on the show, then we'll go ahead from that ease that I've out, we can add more. But we're not gonna add five inches down. And, and this is the correction right here. This gives you the perfect, perfect armhole. The absolute perfect armhole. And then you add down a half and out a half. So it's down a half, down a half, and then out a half from this position. And with that, and you, and you can take that pattern to your body here, this, again, it goes right back to your body size. You, you can do it all day long, but if you don't have your body size, it is never gonna work. Because this is the key, your body size. This whole area is your body size. This is your, this is, this all gets affected right in here when we take that bus measurement. If we don't have that right, no matter what we do, this is never gonna work. Because some women are bigger and smaller than that. And it all compensates right here in that sleeve. And it all goes back. And it, this is another tool for that. Yes. So that answers the question for that. So hopefully that, that helps. definitely answers. There was one quick question that popped up. I, I won't, I can't remember who asked it, but I was scrolling through the questions. I think it was uh, Leslie. Um, Leslie asked this. She said she has an issue when she attaches her sleeve that the shoulder notch doesn't necessarily match where her shoulder actually is. Now, this she could solve this by having the dress form and having it marked. She asked if there's any specific um, or tips that you'd have on how to mark where her shoulder should go compared to the sleeve. Well, a lot of things, again, start with the bodice and you have a princess seam here in the front and a princess seam here in the back. And Typically, you need to make sure when you're doing your pattern that you line those two up. You have to line those two up and you adjust. You make sure those two seams line up. You bring your two patterns together, right? And then what we do is once we line them up, then we'll go ahead and we'll notch. We'll notch in its proper spot where that sleeve needs to fit in at. After we line up those two princess seams. And if you understand the princess seam on the form is this back seam also has, you can't see it with all the holiday stuff on here, but the front seam. They need to line up perfectly. And if they don't line up when you've done your bodice, then you need to adjust it. You adjust it, you bring them to an adjustment, and you go ahead and line up, fix up the armhole to line it up. You, put, you take your French curve, line that up, get rid of with the excess and fix that off, and then go ahead and notch. After you've done the line up, uh, notch your sleeve to fit in so it lines up perfectly. And that notch is where people mess up all the time. Oh, yeah. the, they miss those notches. Those notches, and those are those little point notches on your pattern. In the industry, we don't do that. We use notches. We notch our own notches. We create our own notches. So does that help a little bit? That helps a lot. And I think that'll help Leslie. I hope that helped your question a little bit. I see there's quite a few. Oh, everybody is, um, they're loving your tutorial, by the way. I just bring up a couple of these if you have a quick sec, Joe. I'll bring these. Hold on a second. Uh, somebody says they love your hat off topic behind you. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I've got all kinds of hats. Can you give me another hat? I've got all kinds of hats. This is our holiday hat. Can you believe this? And this this I'll probably be wearing tonight when we go out shopping with my wife. So I'll take <laughs> it along with me, you know. But we, it's a great Oh, hat. somebody just came and took your hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. And look at this. Now I've got even a better hat. Look at my athletic hat, everybody. Isn't that great? Oh, oh my I, gosh. I just love this hat. This is great. It's a, it's a studio prop. Hello. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. <laughs> so I, Terry said she received her dress form last week. She loves it. Christina's saying, hi, Joe. Everybody's saying they love you. Let's see. Here's one. Uh, Francine, what do you have on there? When you, I don't know why it's faded out. Something about a ruler. 
Francine, I can't read it. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. When you order a sleeve ruler from Joe, just ask for Joe's ruler. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Francine, there you go. Your ruler. Because you sell that ruler, don't you, on your site? That's the ruler we're talking about for the sleeve, yes. That's important. And it, it really, it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. You know, I really wanted today, yeah, our goal was today, uh, we thought the show would be ended and we'd have everything together. And I really wanted to bring on my designer for Dancing with the Stars, Daniela. And her all her intentions was to be here. And she really wanted to be here. She wa I wanted to introduce her to America. And I think this would have been a great opportunity. And she just wanted to, to relay one message to everybody out there. Uh, the importance of her designs and her styles, she said, are so sometimes can be so complex because the show uh, requires that. And her designs and styles, because they're so complex, require uh, them to fit the body in a certain perspective with the safety mechanism that they're not going to have a garment malfunction. And the only way, she said, that could ever, ever happen, the only way that ever could ever happen is by us body shaping each celebrity to their body size. And that is done at the beginning of every season. And that's where I come in and look at the celebrity and say, hey, I think you're going to lose 20 pounds. Hey, I think you're going to lose 10 pounds. And I'll take them down one side, body shape them up to their body size, and they all have these body forms in the story room, one for every person. It's like an army of body forms created just like in the back of your story room. You have an army of these same forms, the same thing. They do too. And everyone has their name on it at the beginning of every season. You know, uh, at the beginning of every season. And, um, and that's what I tell the, the people out there. They need to have something that's made to their body size because it will change your life in sewing. I promise you it'll change your life in sewing. Their problems in sewing will completely go away, and I guarantee it. And not only do I guarantee it, even Daniela, the designer for Dancing with the Stars, would guarantee it too. And she sends her regrets that she really wanted to be on the show today, and I completely, completely understand. We did everything in our power to bring her here today, and, I, and we were so close to coming here today, and then I saw everything that happened, and I actually pulled the plug on I said, no way is this going to happen, because I'm not going to take care of this stuff tomorrow. And they, they, <laughs> Till midnight, ten or two o'clock in the morning, get it done. So, with with the good thing, uh, I had to say to her at the last second, and you saw it. I even sent her her name and everything to go on the show earlier oh, today, yeah. and I had to at the last second. A producer called and said, "Hey, it's not gonna. It, it's just you'll be here till two in the morning, and the truck has to come." And we just in case you guys missed that because we kept that totally secret. In fact, I had to drag it out of Joe yesterday because I'm like, I love surprises, but I have to know who are you bringing on. So we we have got to meet her one of these days. And you know what? She's got Daniela. She has even told me, let's let's come back on the show, Joe. Promise me. She sent me a text. She goes, when can we do this again? I want to do this. I know we're going to be off. Set it up. Let me come on the show. I want to tell the people how important it is, how we do it with the body forms, how important it is, how we take fabric right to the body form. We don't need to even use a pattern. We take fabric right to the body form, cut it, sew it. Wow, really? I mean, that, that tells you something. Why? Because we're doing close to 300 garments in six days. So we don't have time to sit there and drape and do a pattern. Right. we got to actually take fabric right through their body and pin it and cut it and sew. And that's unfortunately how it has to happen. And it, we do that every day, every single day. Tell Danielle, we are so sorry we didn't get to see her. But we, whenever she can come on, we will make a special show just for her because everyone will love to meet her. Oh, and she's just a very personable person. And she's just as sweet as gold, and, uh, and I absolutely adore her, and she has my heart. I've been working with her for, I, I can't, won't even tell you how long her I've been working, since out of, out of college, okay? So she's been around a long time working with us uh, on the show, and she's done a fabulous job, and, uh, and she, she really made, made every effort to try to be here today. And I tried to make it happen, and just unfortunately did not. Well, we but didn't want you to work till three we, in the morning either. We still got some, we still got some great opportunity uh, for everybody out there. A lot of people out there on the show I know have bought forms, and I absolutely salute you for for uh, getting those forms and working with us. But for those of you that haven't gotten a form, I only could say to you, um, this is probably one of the most important things you ever do. You know, um, because without a body form. Uh, sewing becomes a improbable, difficult uh, way of life. 
uh, because you get, you get struggles and fit and you get more tired, you walk away from it, and then you say, you know what, I'm done with the sewing, I'm going to go to sew a quilt. Yeah, you're going to go sew a quilt because you failed at sewing. And, and, and you should fail at sewing because if you have the proper tools and the proper instructions on how to sew, <clears throat> I promise you, I've had women that couldn't even begin to sew. And just with the simple technique of having a body form and learning some of your stuff, Angela, and your techniques and my techniques, put them together, they could sew whatever they want to sew. It'll be perfect. It'll be beautiful. I've had that happen week and week out with women across America. Even here in California, I've had women. I have to tell a story. I have a lady, and she's probably watching the show. I hope she is. And her name's Barb. And she did a body form. And she actually created this body form. And in all sincerity, I looked after she created this body form, I saw her break down and cry. And I, and I looked at her and I go, why are you crying, Barb? She says, because it's my body. It's my real body. And I'm looking at it, and she literally emotionally broke down. And you know what? With her body that she created, we were able to drape on it and sew up a beautiful garment to fit her. And she left here like in a state of awe and shock how much she learned in those four days. And, uh, and it all started with a body form. It all started with a body form. And, you know, you have a lot of options. Some women out there, Angela, don't uh, need to do pants. They have no interest. And I totally get it. And, and, and that's not, you know, this is, doesn't always have to be the option. You know, uh, the other option that they have is the upper part of the body form, just the torso part. You know, that's always another option. And that's this part, if they can, if people can see that. You know, this, yeah. whole, this half body form. This half body form is a great option for doing tops and dresses and jackets. What a great option this is. I mean, if you're never going to do pants, uh, do you have one of these? Do you have one of these in your studio? I do. In fact, I have, uh, let me move for a second. Our good friend Wes sent me his a dress that he designed, and this is my full body dress form, and I was trying it on my dress form that fits me perfect, and so uh, right now I have a dress on it. I love this dress form. Oh, that looks fabulous, Angela. That I know. looks great. Wes made it for me, and it has the collapsible shoulders that go in and out, which I love. And then I have the full body forms. I find myself draping on the half body form more than the full body. But at the same time, I use the full body form just to test the fit even better all the way around. So I love this for draping. Absolutely yeah. love it. And just keep in mind these forms, like Angela, you pointed out, they're uh, fully collapsible and they're fully pinnable. You could actually take a pin and you can pin these and hold a pin. You know? That's oh my gosh! How did I not even think of mentioning that? So, you guys have heard me say this in classes before. When some people say I only have a couple hundred dollars to spend, or a hundred dollars or less, what should I get for a dress form? There is nothing. I mean, there are so many different brands and things like that. But I have to say, if you can't pin into that dress form, it's it's like, what's the point? What are you going to do? Tape it on? So these dress forms, well, usually I, I think. The ones in the back, I have pins stuck all over them. That's how you drape. I mean, that's how you keep things in place. And if you can't pin into anything, it does absolutely no good. Yeah, and, and that's the whole key here. Yeah, you know, um, these forms, um, I, I've told people time and time again, not just with Dancing with the Stars. They're used in every major garment manufacturer. They're used at Nordstrom's, guys. Hello, Nordstrom's? Really? This is what they're using. They're using these body forms. They're used on Project Runway. Remember all that tape that for those of you who watch, you're looking at it. The, the tape is on here and it's on there for a reason. So we learn how to drape and we can do dark manipulation. That's what the purpose of all this drape is. Uh, and, and the tape is. These forms are used across America in every major garment manufacturer, every major retailer that you shop at. And now we've taken it in the last few years across America to the home market. And it has done nothing but telling you change people's lives everywhere i've gone everywhere i've gone and i'm looking to change more lives and if i change one life today that means the world to me but here's another thing joe is that when you at if people get an opportunity to take your classes you're showing them hands-on how to pad these the ones that are you know they just can't wrap their mind around it i have watched over the last month 
two or three different shows I've we've been at together, and I watch the ladies leave with their dress forms, and it's like having their body double. Well, it is their body double when they're finished with you, completely ready to go. And yeah. once that's done, the sewing is nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. The sewing is nothing, and it really uh, changes everything uh, in a person's sewing ability and how easy it is to create that dress, that pair of pants, that jacket, and, and learning to do uh, uh, the yoke on it with, uh, with, uh, with the body form and how it fits across the top and looking how to even camouflage fabric onto a body form. How does that fabric look on the body? Really? Drape it to your body? How about if you drape that fabric to the body form? How about if we look at this silver sequin stretch that I draped on there and looked at it and said, you know what, that looks pretty good. Let me do a garment like that. Right. It's taking fabric right to the body form too. There's a lot of uses for it that we do all all day long, you know, and, uh, and, and the body form is really a, a great, great way to go. And I cannot emphasize that enough. You know, again, it starts with body shape, body development, and, and once you've created stop there, then the next level is uh, learning how to uh, to go ahead and drape this and taking it to do a bodice. That's the next point. Or taking that same pattern and taking that pattern like this and draping that pattern to your body form and then cutting the pacing and slashing. Why? Because it fits your body. It's fitting your contour. The next thing is, once you've learned this, then learning how to take this, this bodice into a pattern. Or you've already developed your pattern by pinning the pattern. So there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different roads to go down, but it all starts with this basis and the foundation. If you don't have this, you're dead in the water. I don't care what you, any way you look at it, you're dead in the water. And, and I've proven that time and time and time and over again, everywhere. I don't care who it is, not just the home market, to the garment industry, to yes. the studios. It's just been phenomenal. So you have a couple questions, technical. Um, <laughs> A couple of people want to know if they're flying into a class. Let's see. I think this was Liz wanted to know what is a good way to have uh, the dress form to a class that she's flying into. Is that are you going to one of Joe's classes? I'm assuming Liz, or are you taking it to a class? I don't know. But any suggestions on that? Yes, I've got an idea. So a lot of women across America take some of my classes. So what they do is they pre-order their form with me here and we get the form to them at my class. They don't have to worry about that. If it's at a show, we make sure that the forms, like in some of my pre-day classes, whether it's Atlanta, whether it's Florida, whether it's in Cleveland, we don't care. We get the body form to it, and they don't have to deal with it. They just order it here, and we take care of the rest. Yeah, that's the whole idea, is they don't have to do that struggle. But it gets better. The surprise is yet to come. And uh, you know we haven't even gone there yet, uh, uh, Angela. And I wanted to share that with people. Um, and maybe this is a great opportunity to talk about that. You know, I think so. Go ahead. What do you have surprises for us? So what, what kind of things you got for so us? This everybody should be watching and everybody should be looking at this because this is a one time opportunity and we're really going to share something really neat. So, a lot of people have in the past have been doing their own padding for their forms. Well, we decided that that wasn't going to really be the ideal thing, but how about if we padded the form for you? Really? So now you're getting a custom form made to what? Your body size, your measurements, your exact thing, and you don't have to do nothing. But either take one of my classes or one of Angela's classes and learn how to work with it. Isn't that a great idea? Isn't that fabulous? So all we need is your measurements. And I would need to know if there's going to be a weight loss. If there is, let me drive the plane and tell you where you need to go based on your weight loss. If you're going to lose 20 pounds, 40 pounds, 60 pounds, I'll tell you where you need to go. That's what I do. That's why I specialize in it. So if you want to get a body form and you decide you want to uh, lose weight or even maintain or whatever, let me tell you where I think you should go. That's why I'm paid for what I do to do. And again, I'm taking that to you guys, and I think I'm offering a great, great source for that. So yes, for this show we've offered, we're going to do a special deal. And um, I wanted to present that today. And for the people out there that order their form today, and we've got two specials, 
two fabulous, fabulous things. And he absolutely thought I was crazy for doing it, but I'm going to do it. So you're going to be able to get two choices. And everybody should be thinking, writing this down. You can either get the full body form with legs, or you can get the half body form with no legs like this, right? So you got choice A or choice B. <laughs> That's pretty easy, guys. Either it's your whole body or half your body. Right. You remember that. <laughs> pretty easy, right? So basically what they can do, and I'm going to pull this up here, they can order a pre-custom form. Can you see this, Angela? Let me see this. Uh, hold on. Let me get some of this off of here. Uh, uh, lift it up just a wee bit. Lift it up just a wee bit there, Joe. Okay, perfect. So if you could see this, Angela, if you could see this, can you see this really well? Yep, so, we can see it really well. Okay, so if they get a custom form, if they get a custom dress form today, made to their body size, it's only $5.99. Okay, wait. They get a full body form, it's $8.99 to their body size. So this is custom. If you go to our website, this is fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600, not custom. And this is $1,000, not custom. We're doing a custom dress form for $5.99 or a custom full body form, the whole enchilada, for $8.99 at your body size. And you don't have to do nothing. It's delivered to you. Wow. And, and... We get to this little cover. This little cover will make it to your body size. It's made custom to your body size with your measurement to fit your body. It's thirty nine bucks, thirty nine dollars to your body size. Okay, that's another option. Okay, I highly recommend that. And then the other last thing that we recommend is a custom. Sorry, Angela. Custom arm. <laughs> this arm. That's awesome. $79, $79, okay? So now you got the $599, $39, and $79. We ship anywhere, anywhere in America for $90, $90, okay? But the best part is yet to come. So what we decided is two things. If they order this on your show today or by the 14th, if you can see this, date for gift. We are giving away a special gift. It's called the secret box. <laughs> the secret box. It's I love the secret box. It's we love secret boxes. Let me just tell you, this is something that nobody can buy. I promise you it's that something that nobody could buy. It is $160 retail value. And we're going to give you that free if you buy any one of these products up until the 20th of December. Now, if you order this stuff by the 14th, because of the Christmas holidays, we can have this secret box delivered to you before Christmas. Which would be fantastic, because that means that if you are asking for this for Christmas from Santa or anyone like that, that maybe could, uh, you know, Santa, tell Santa that you want this gift. Santa might not be able to get you that dress form by Christmas, but he can get you that special box by Christmas. We Which, by the way, has something awesome in it. And this, I promise you, nobody can buy it anywhere in the entire U.S., in the entire world. I so would have to say, I, I, he's totally true. I made him show me yesterday, and he's completely, it's amazing. That's all I can say. And when you get this and you see it, you're going to say, oh, my gosh, where in the world did he get this? And it's not available to anybody because we only use it at the studios. And I've gotten permission to get it and promote it with our same product 
these mannequins that they use at the studios for everybody to get a secret box in their home before Christmas if we can get the order in by the 14th. Because remember, shipping for Christmas holiday mm -hmm. is really rough, and that's why we had to put the 14th as a cutoff. Because we really wanted this to get in your house before the holiday. And we would have to ship by the 14th, the secret box. So, and Joe, you've got, a, you've got a pile of international friends down here. Uh, Katrina wants to know if you, or Karina wants to know if you'll ship to Europe. And then Leslie uh, lives yes. in Canada, which, Leslie, gosh, the shipping to Canada, I just sent out your fabric. It was ridiculous. I tried to find the cheapest possible. But do you ship there? We ship to Canada. And, you know, we've, we ship anywhere in the country and anywhere in the world. I don't care if it's Europe. I don't care if it's Australia. I don't care if it's Canada. We ship a lot to Canada and we ship all over. The key is you gotta get your order in and we'll get this out to you. And I promise you, it'll be spectacular. The only thing that I would need from these ladies when they call and do their order, they need to give me these three areas to start. I need to have their bust, waist, and hip measurement. I need these three important measurements. These three important measurements I need to have. Bust, waist, and hip. Bust is your biggest part bust. of bust. Waist, I'll bring this hip, down. Hip. So you said bust, waist, bust, and hips. And hip. okay. All right. And your waist is your biggest part of your waist at your navel area. And your hip is your biggest part of your hip, nine inches from your waist. And your bust is your maximum bust point all the way around. So all the way around, all the way around, and all the way around. I need these three measurements. Okay. I will then talk to them and make sure they have everything they need to place in order. That would be a phone conversation. And everybody that gets an order will have a special time to speak to me on the phone to place the order. So that's, that's worth it right there, Joe. <laughs> okay, Joe, yeah. I have a couple more questions. A couple people said that they've ordered a dress form from you in the past, and they want to know if they can order just that cover. And I believe you have it on your website. Is that correct? I'm not sure if it's on the website, but they certainly call an order. And when they people do call an order... They can either email sales at frenchurpian.com. Yep, got it. Or they can call this phone number, 818-649-1742, and place their order. And that goes for the cover, that goes for the dress form, that goes for the full body, that goes for everything. And the, you can order the ruler there too, guys. They can order the ruler there too. And again, please, please keep in mind, if they want the secret box, the $160 secret box, the order must be placed before or on December 14th. Did you guys get that? I'm, I'm not even going to write it down, but December, give Joe the hearts on this because he always gives us special deals and he makes sure that he has something awesome whenever you order. But December 14th, you got to order by then to get the secret box. Right. The secret box, and that will be there before Christmas then. And I can ship anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world for that, okay? And uh, let me just tell you something. I know, I promise you guys that this is one of the best opportunities that you uh, ever would uh, take and would help you guys tremendously. And it works fabulous. And if it's worked for me on my show, and if it's worked for Angela, and if it's worked for every major department store and every major manufacturer that I work with, and every woman that I've touched base across America, it'll work for you too watching the show today. I totally agree. Absolutely agree. You're getting heart emojis all over the map, Joe. They love it. So I put I put up your email. I put up your phone number. How, many of you, okay, so for those of you that already have one of these dress forms, which we've all named ours, put your name of your dress form in the comments below because I would love, I read these at night and it just cracks me up because some of them are hilarious, but... Joe, do you have a name? Well, Joe, you have too many dress forms to name them all. Oh, please. I have an army of them. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just call Joe's the army. We're good. <laughs> Joe's army. Yes, Joe's army. Um, so it's really important for them. They can call the office and place the order. They can email if they don't feel comfortable calling. And um, But I would need to speak to them. And when they call, they could ask for me. Uh, or set up a time to speak to me, and uh, and I can get the. I uh, will personally work with them on their personal fit. Which, let me tell you something. I'm not cheap, Angela. 
I'm very, 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 very expensive. I typically don't touch anybody less than $500 or work with anybody less than $500 on a fit. But this is all to your show at no charge for our fans, your fans, my fans. And I will be happy to do it with a phone call and, uh, and set them up into the right body to fit their body. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Joe, you had someone ask on here. Cynthia wants to know, could you just repeat how to take, she, want, she wants to know how to make sure she has her measurements just right. Could you okay. just explain that one more time? Let me step, step back and have for one minute and I'll come back. Yeah. Come back. Don't go. So I need measurements. If you can see it. <laughs> I love, wait, did your sign just walk away? I did. I just kicked my sign away. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And the sign, I'm back. Um, I need, I need you to take, I'm going to use a tape measure. Okay. So I would need this measurement here. Okay. This measurement here. I would want this measurement at the waist and the waist is the navel area, not where you bend. It's the navel area. Okay. Okay. And then I want the biggest part of the hip, which is usually nine inches below the waist here. Okay. And okay. Then I would like to have a crotch measurement at the at the navel all the way underneath all the way from front to back front to back okay okay i want that measurement and then i will speak to them i know i need a couple other measurements but i need those four basic measurements to start okay and you guys, you know, if you if you order one of these, when you call in and talk to Joe, he'll walk you through it if you if you screw something up. You can't really oh, screw it up, by the way. Absolutely, sign again. So, Yvette saying you're the best. Uh, everyone saying you're the best. There's so many comments through here, Joe. They just love it. Although I did have to laugh. Somebody wrote in here when you lifted up the arm that it doesn't wiggle like theirs. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> so here's here's the sign one more time. So okay. Um, our email is sales at French European. I'm sorry. What is our? It's sales at French European dot net. Sorry. All right. And I have it up on my screen too, so everybody can see it. And then I've got your phone number up here. That right. Wait one second. Okay. And we also have. Let's see. Here's the phone number. Wrong button. <laughs> I love his, you know what, do you have, is Wim at your shop right there? Because he seems to move my props around like your props are moving around. Yeah, Wim is here. So it, I, I just add, fixed it. It's sales at FrenchEurpean.net. Okay, that's what I have up here. I've been showing it up too, so we're fine. Yep, you're good. French sales the phone number. at FrenchEurpean.net and the phone number is 818-649-1742. And, and don't forget, the 14th is the cutoff for the magic box, the surprise box. So the 14th is the cutoff for this, and you guys will be absolutely thrilled, I promise you. That sounds awesome. Uh, oh, Marcy wants to know, should, should she do the crotch measurement standing up or sitting down? Standing up. Standing up. Standing up. Sounds good. Uh <laughs> Everyone's saying, what a sweet deal. Thank you. Francine says she's calling you to get another dress for her. Who doesn't need more than one, right? And Barb <laughs> says that, Fran, Fran, you stole her arm. She wants her arm back. <laughs> I love my arm. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I love my arm. But you know what? I, I really have to be honest with you. You know, you said something really important today. You use both the full body and the dress form. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's true because even at the studios, Angela, we'll use the full body form a lot, a really a lot, because we're doing the two pieces and the tops and bottoms. Right. But sometimes when we want to just throw a jacket or a top on it, we just want to have that dress form available so we can actually just literally take it and put it over the top of the, the mannequin. It's just easier. So we, right. a lot of people do have to. You know, it's very common. So, it's always the one, it's the, the half dress form is my go-to when I'm ready to drape. And then I use the full body when I'm perfecting fit or obviously doing pants or anything like that. But when it comes to jackets and dresses, I go straight to the half body first. And then the other one is my final, final check. Right. And, and again, it, it's, 
you know, it's just like the sewing room. How many sewing machines do you have? You know, we all have all our favorites. And you know, because you have more than anybody. And the same thing, <laughs> and, and you have more mannequins than anybody because of ours. Because, Thanks. you know, it's just- They're all yours, Joe's. Joe, <laughs> they're your army is over here. <laughs> <laughs> and and it work, it, it's just because that's a sewing room. And, and I'm sure everybody at home has more than one sewing machine. You know, and and the same thing with mannequins. They end up having, oh, you know what? I think I do want to invest in, in a different man. And I've had that happen at least three or four times in the past couple of weeks. You know, people called me and say, hey, I want to add another one to my collection. You know, so, yep. but anyway. I agree. And uh, hey, my mom, Joe, before I let you go, my mom just popped in to say hi. She loves you, Joe. She says, hey, love you, Joe. Love mom. <laughs> oh, I love, and let me just tell you something. I love your mom. <laughs> absolutely adore her and um she means the world to me she really does and i appreciate her Ma, thanks for popping in she said she she doesn't she doesn't always hit my show but she wasn't going to miss you being on here joe <laughs> yeah, I hope she's doing well i hope she's doing well she is well you got joe this is such a generous offer for our fans again thank you so much for taking the time you are so busy right now you're gonna be up till two in the morning taking the set down tell daniela that we will look forward to meeting her in the future. The head designer for Dance with the Stars. We'd love to hear her inspiration and things. She names the date. She is. It's her show. Yeah, and we'll bring some garments on, and maybe who knows? Maybe we could shoot it at the studios. We'll see. Well, that'd be fun. That would that be true? You know, it just it's such such a busy environment. It, we just have to make sure. We just want to be behind the scenes with all the chaoticness. We would love that. Oh, people will go crazy with that. People, yeah. are but listen, I know that you guys are busy and it's showtime's pretty much at that point of the hour, but I'd like to close the show uh, to everybody by saying, um, uh, listen, from our family to your family, to uh, Hollywood, to all across America, may this holiday season be the best holiday season for each and every one of you at home. And more important, a happy and healthy new year. Thank you, Joe. I We wish you that as well. Uh, I know that there's going to be a lot of people that want to get these dress forms, but there's a lot of people that want to sign up for your classes next year. And so do you know when those are going to be available or when they can find them? Yes, um, we're offering classes. Our next classes can be offered in Atlanta with the original Sewing and Quilt Expo. Um, I will see you there too. I will be there with you. Yeah, I'm doing pre-day there. And we're also doing a uh, pre-day in Florida. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's happening right now. So they are, you can gonna go be, to the, are you going to be in Puyallup? I will be in Puyallup as well. Me be, too? Oh my gosh, this is going to be the best spring ever. Yeah, we'll be in Puyallup too. So, um, But the most upcoming shows is Atlanta, Florida, and Cleveland. And then after Cleveland, uh, we're going to go down. Uh, before that, again, it's Puyallup. That's where you and I will connect. Yeah, Puyallup, Puyallup Atlanta. Florida, I'm not going to, but you'll be there. And one person asked if you're going to be in North Carolina. You got any plans for North Carolina in 2000? <clears throat> That's still on the table for negotiations, and I don't know at this point. But look, more than likely, yes. Okay. Joe, we wish your family and everyone there at your company Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. I hope you get a month off in December just to veg with your family, do something fun. Yes. And listen, if they if they call and I'm not here, they could speak to my wonderful secretary, Daisy. She's absolutely fabulous. She'll be happy to get their information, everything that she needs. And I will definitely call them back and she can give them their measure. She can give them her the measurements, everything they need uh, to get this order on the road. And then I will call them back to finalize all the details. So uh, because I'm really busy tomorrow and uh, at the studios, I won't be here. But Daisy's here. They can call any time between 9 and 4 Pacific time, 9 and 4 Pacific time. Daisy will be happy to take the order as long as she's, they got the bus waist and hip measurements and their crotch measurement. Give them to Daisy. Uh, let Don't worry about the size. Give her all the details that they want to order, their full body, dress form, pants form, whatever. Just write it down, and then I will call them back with the, all the final decisions on the form to help them out. Does that sound good? That sounds wonderful. So, Joe, thank you so much. Everyone, thank you for being here. I'll pop in tomorrow for, I had a, a drawing for tomorrow, but I will pop in tomorrow because we've run out of time. And 
if you guys need anything with Joe, you email. If you can't get th if you can't get through, call and talk to his secretary. If you have any questions, I'll go through and answer as many questions as I can here. And I know next week I have a special guest, Cindy, from DIY Style, and we have a drawing for tomorrow. But Joe, I can never thank you enough for taking the time. We have planned this for a couple months to have something great for you guys for the holidays, and you always come through, Joe. <laughs> uh, God love you. And I know, Angela, you're going to have this on your Facebook, this uh, whole session, so people can review it and see it over again. And uh, and it goes on YouTube on Saturday. So this, uh, all of you on YouTube, hello, you're not missing a thing because I will go back through and read your comments as well. So Thank you so much. Again, happy holidays from us in Hollywood to all over America, and a very, very prosperous New Year to all of you, and from our hearts to your hearts. And again, health to everybody across America. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank Joe. You. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.